Welcome back to Duff Kingston Gymnasium. Roger Hobbs, Jason Craig with you as we get set for the first consolation semifinal, <coughs> excuse me, between Hamilton County and Edwards County. Hamilton County came by way of losing to Harrisburg yesterday and then last night in the red eye took care of Carrier Mills rather handedly. Edwards County lost to Vienna and then came out like gangbusters this morning, Roger. Took care of Hardin County, and now they're one step away from potential trophy. Yes, they are. This will be an interesting matchup. These two teams met in the Foxes Invitational there early in the year, <coughs> kind of a preseason opener, and uh, Hamilton County came away with a 56-47 victory. So uh, should be a, should be an interesting ball game. We've had some good games this afternoon, fairly close, and uh, this one could be as well, and Hamilton County has got to be able to knock down the triple. You know, yesterday we did that ball game. Yeah. Three of 21, mm -hmm. missed their first 14. So, uh, but you know, you just shake that off, come back and say, hey, bad day at Black Rock and pick it up and go from there. So again, the winner will advance to the consolation championship scheduled for three o'clock tomorrow afternoon. The other consolation semifinal later this evening will be the red eye, will be Gallatin County taking on the hometown Eagles of El Dorado. You know, one of the things I've noticed, most of these teams have played in the neighborhood of 12 to 14 games, Hamilton County 10 and four, they've got in 14. Edwards County has already played 18 ball games. Uh, they opened up five games in that Fox's Invitational and then turned around the first week of December and played in the Conrad Allen Tournament up at Wayne City. So they already have 18 games in. And uh, I think you're allowed, what is it? Uh, 16 games in two tournaments, something uh, like that used to be. Something like that, yeah. So uh, you pick up 10 games in two tournaments, and uh, you can find out where you are, plus the fact that you're wore out. And that is one thing. That's, uh, <laughs> Doug Miller has never shied away from a game. <laughs> right, right. So it'll be uh, it'll be interesting again. Uh, you know, with these uh, with these two clubs, and again playing a lot of games. Uh, you know, Edwards County played at 8.30 this morning, and uh, Hamilton County played at 10 o'clock last night. So uh, the Foxes got a good night's sleep, and maybe the Lions got an afternoon nap. So let's take a look at the starting lineups first for the visitors on the board. It'll be Edwards County head coach Kevin Schnicker. Squad's going to be Cy Nelson, a 5'9 junior. I just, I just got a text from Clint Weinmiller, the uh, AD at uh, Hamilton County. He said, you're allowed 31 games, <laughs> and they've already played 18. Anwan Rhodes, a 6'2 senior. Cash Connor, 6'1 and a sophomore. Owen Grimes, 6'5 and a junior. And Max Gerlach, 6'1 and a senior. So that'll be Nelson, Rhodes, Connor, Grimes, and Gerlach. Two juniors, two seniors, and a sophomore. So he's got a – he never – the table will never the table will never run empty. You're exactly right. You got people coming back. For Doug Miller's Foxes, he's going to go with Trenton Pike, the 6'1 senior. Caleb Carson, a 6'3 junior. Abe Neal, a 6'1 senior. Eli Hansen, the 5'10 senior. And Caden Kelly, the 6'3 senior. So that'll be Pike, Carson, Neal, Hansen. And Kelly. Four seniors and a junior. And, you know, coming off the bench, he's going to probably be bringing some sophomores. Pretty good uh, sophomore group there. We saw one of them, Braxton Miller, not bigger than a bar of soap, but boy, he'll get right up there in your gearbox. Ethan Kessler, another sophomore. He can light it up from long range. In fact, he had the only threes yeah, he in was that the, loss yesterday. He's the three of the three out of 21 from yesterday. And you'll probably see uh, Cord Leakey as well. He's a pesky junior, six-foot junior, can shoot the ball, but he's he's a pest. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> Go ahead and quickly tell you we want to thank all of our sponsors this and every year for making our coverage of the holiday tournament possible, but especially these top-tier sponsors. If not for them, there's simply no way we'd be able to bring live pictures and audio as it happens from the 59th edition of the EHT. And those sponsors include Farrell Hospital, Wabash Valley Service Company, Banterra Bank, Extreme Welding and Machine Services, Skates Valley Irrigation and SGI Trucking, and State Farm Agents Doug Raber and Albion 
And James Cook from Carmi. And again, thank all of the, not only those, but all of the sponsors. And I've, from what I can find out, we are the only radio station live streaming all 26 games. So, and thanks to people like that that have donated. Let them know when you stop in at their place of business. So Grimes and Carson, uh, yeah, Carson will jump and Edwards County will win the tip and Nelson will bring it into the front court as Hamilton County opens in their traditional man-to-man. -man. Grimes on the right top. Looking inside, gets a two, Connor. Excuse me, that's Rhodes. Rhodes and Connor look like right. brothers. Yeah. <laughs> now Connor gets the ball on the left wing, Pike on him. Gerlach on the right top, Kelly guarding him. And a loose ball is picked up by Rhodes. He'll square up, can't go anywhere. Back to Grimes between the circles. Grimes goes to his right. A little handoff to Connor. Pulls up, free throw line, off the side of the rim, and Hanson will clear for the Foxes. Up the left side they come to Pike. Down the lane to Kelly, he goes up and blocked out of bounds. It will stay Hamilton County basketball. And I found out a, block, a blocked shot does not count as a shot attempt. You are correct. I don't know if that's true, but that's what I've been told. That's 99% right on that one. I saw it on Facebook, it's gotta be true. <laughs> Caleb Carson with a turnaround jumper gives the Foxes the early 2-0 lead. And a turnover in the backcourt. We'll give the ball right back to the Foxes. So Aiden Neal will take it out. Gets it in to Carson. Oh, and that's a travel. Walk. That's where you go. Oops. Sorry. Both teams trading turnovers early. And here comes Connor and the Lions, three on two the other way. Connor will circle the wagons. Up top of Gerlach. Nelson, deep three right side. In and out. And rebounded by Grimes. And they're going to call a quick jump ball. And arrow points in favor of the green and white of Hamilton County. 6.42 opening quarter here. Hamilton County leading two to nothing in this Rematch of the Black Diamond East. <laughs> Pike looks inside to Neal. Neal will back it out around the perimeter. And the Foxes will reset. This time they go right side to Pike on the wing. Up top to Carson. They swing it left side to Neal. Now Hanson pops out, pull up from the free throw line. Good. Good. They, Hanson, Hanson is deceptively quick. Only 5'10", but he thinks he's about 6'5 when he plays. I mean, he's all <laughs> over the place on the boards, on the floor, and very little time on the bench. Rhodes hands it off to Connor. He'll go to his left. Pull up, mid-range jumper, short, rebounded by Nelson. And now Rhodes will try a three off the back iron, and Carson clears for the Foxes. Neal swings it left side to Hanson. Hanson will come back to the jump circle. Crossover goes to his left in the lane, puts up the floater, will not fall. Gerlach tucks it away, and the Lions come the other way. Connor up the left side. Head fake, gets in the lane, pulls up, and cannot make it. Neal will clear. Hanson, excuse me, Pike, back to Neal, top of the key. Neal stops, leans in, a lot of contact, and he's going to shoot two. So, yeah, trying to uh, trying to get some penetration. Uh, Edwards County, tough man-to-man. -man. Not giving their shooters much uh, much room to maneuver. So not, e not even going to give them the three-point shot. No. And it's one of those situations, you know, when you're hot, you're hot. And... Uh, they kind of struggled a little bit yesterday, and uh, Edwards County don't want to, do not want to give them a, a start today. Neal hits them both, and just like that, the Foxes lead six to nothing. And a long pass is picked off by the Foxes. And here they come the other way. Up top the key, Neal over to Pike. Inside to Carson, he turns, hands it to Kelly at the elbow. They go to the corner to Pike. He finds his way into the lane, puts up the left-handed shot. Short 
Erlach ties is tied up by Carson in an arrow points in favor of Edwards County. 451 opening first quarter, six to nothing. Hamilton Ed County. Edwards County 0 for 5. Three threes, two twos. Here they go on a breakaway. They may get it right here. Grimes puts up the three footer. And Edwards County gets on the board. Hanson quickly the other way. Back to Hanson in the corner, cut off the baseline by Grimes. They'll back it out. The Foxes will try the left side with Pike. Pike between the circles, gives it to Carson at the elbow, right side. Now goes left side to Kelly at the elbow. Now Neal, mid-range jumper, good. Got it. Neal, very good, good, very good shooter. Get ready for the line change. Eight to two, Foxes lead it halfway through the first quarter. Gerlach gets it across the timeline to Nelson. And he's going to call for a travel. So the Foxes are going to come with Miller, Leakey, Kessler, Zellers, and Cross. Or like we like to say, line two. <laughs> Four sophomores and a junior. Leakey in the right corner. Out front to Miller, across Main Street to Kessler. Back to Miller, top. Right wing, Leakey. Fox is moving the ball extremely well here. Edwards County's gone to a 2-3 zone. Inside to Zellers, and his shot sent into the bleachers by Gerlach. Hamilton County kind of playing with, a, with some confidence they didn't have, I think, there in the first game. Two people standing <laughs> in the entire gymnasium, and they're both right in front of us. <laughs> there they go. Now they move. Miller swings it left side to Kessler, cross in the left corner. Opposite to Miller in the lane, throws it out to Leakey. He'll try a three, partially balked by Grimes. And then we're going to have a jump ball called. And the ball will go back to Hamilton County. Ooh. Leakey to inbound it. Deep to Kessler. Zeller swings it left side to Leakey. Back to Zellers, top of the key. Now Kessler on the right side. They'll swing it back around the perimeter. Back to Kessler. Now Miller in the left, right corner. Back out front. Running a four out, trying to post Zellers up, but good interior defense by the Lions. Leakey, left top, back right side. Kessler, he'll try a three. Both. Got it. Kessler has been pretty solid from beyond the arc for the Foxes and it's 11-2 and there's a steal by Zellers but he stepped on the line. Good, nice good, hustle. Good hustle by Jack Zellers. Jack's dunk and a 6-1 sophomore checks in for Edwards County. First a substitution. Miller almost picked it off in the back. Here comes Nelson the other way. And Nelson airmails it into the Hamilton County cheerleading squad. Coach Miller showed a little hustle going after that. Not bad for an old man. Oh, well, they're going to say it was tipped by a fox. So Connor will inbound right in front of Hamilton County bench. If he'd have known that, he probably wouldn't have chased it down. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Connor's three in and out. Rhodes crashes the board and scores. 11 to four foxes. Miller the other way to Kessler. Kessler skips it right corner to Leakey. Back out front to Kessler. Now Miller, left top, skip screen past the Kessler. Now Leakey, top of the key, back left side to Miller, into Zellers, now cross. Hamilton County connecting the dots. Just playing around that perimeter. Leakey steps back for a three, Three too hard. And Zellers and Connor tie up, and the arrow points in favor of the Lions. 11-4, Fox is 155. Line one comes back in for Hamilton County. You know, when you have to play as many games, I know coach, all the coaches would like to have that, you know, interchange 10 kids. And some, you know, you look at uh, some of these only maybe have it one or two on the bench. And Connor airmails it into the second row of chairbacks. Fourth turnover for Edwards County. 
And Kevin Schnicker, head coach, is just rubbing his head down there. <laughs> Meanwhile, Hanson brings it into the front court. A little alley-oop play to Carson, and Got he scored. It. Nice play. Carson with four. I think that play is called Indiana. And oh, a Connor steal. Has it stolen away by Pike. He goes up, has it stripped, goes out of bounds. It'll stay Hamilton County basketball. 13 to four. Fox is getting off to a good start. Hanson will inbound. Foxes go four across low. Lobs it up to Carson. He's in the lane, kicks it back to Hanson. He'll try a three. Air ball. Misses. Duncan, outlet to Connor. The Lions come the other way, three on two, and Connor goes to the rim, and they're going to call a blocking foul on Carson. So, yeah, Connor and Rhodes for Edwards County have kind of begun to make a name for themselves here in the last two days. Well, Rhodes was the uh, – I think I made this comment. Was the all, was the leading scorer in that Hamilton County Invitational? And Connor has been that solid other side of it. Second free throw, got them both. Andrew Webb in the game for uh, Hamilton County. He's a 5'10 junior, six foot. Quarterback the Foxes this year in football. 13-6, Foxes on top, under a minute to go here in the first quarter. Hanson on the left top. Now Kelly takes it right top as Hamilton County runs the flex. Neal on the left top, over to Webb on the right side. Back left side to Pike. Pike kicks it out and they're gonna call a foul on Nelson as he's riding Pike's hip. Very few fouls here. Yeah, against the second unit, Edwards County was in a zone. And then against the first unit, straight man. Hanson will inbound. Webb. Finds Webb. Missed it. Tipped out. And ran down by Nelson. 13 to 6. Foxes lead Edwards County. 30 seconds to go. First quarter. Duncan into the front court. <coughs> Leaves it for Nelson. Swings it to Duncan on the right side. Now top the key, they go to Rhodes, over to Connor, left side. And the pass tipped away, but Nelson runs it down. Nelson kicks it back out to Connor, and it goes off his hand out of bounds. It'll be Fox's basketball with 13 seconds left in the first. Five turnovers for Edwards County. <coughs> Brings in Cord Leakey, another three-point shooter. He's got all five of these players can light it up for them. Hanson will walk across the timeline. Eight seconds left in the quarter. They're going to set up a play for Leakey. Didn't work. Neal on the right top. He's going drives. To all the way to the hole. He's going to be fouled. And that will stop the clock with one second left. They had it set up, run a double screen for Leakey as he crossed from one baseline to the other. And the uh, defense adjusted very quickly, so Carson will come in with one second. Uh, Throw the lob. Yep. There it is. Oh, out of the too high. And that's how the quarter will end. Hamilton County comes out leading 13 to six. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Show your Saluki pride. Get your Vantara Saluki Visa debit card today and your purchases will contribute to an SIU scholarship. Plus use your card to get special offers at Vantara Center and other Saluki athletic events. Getting the card is easy. Just open a Saluki checking account or Saluki interest checking account at Vantara Bank. No ATM fees at more than 55,000 ATMs plus other great benefits. Stop by Vantara to learn more. Vantara, proud supporter of SIU. Member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. See branch for details. I decided to attend SIC because of the great scholarship that I was awarded. I received an archery scholarship. I'm taking IT cybersecurity. My favorite part of the IT program is definitely going to class every day. Professor Scott makes it really fun and he lets us do a lot of hands-on things and that helps me learn a lot. My experience on the archery team, so far I love it. The people are great, the archery coach is awesome. Be a part of the action at SIC. Hamilton County leads Edwards County after one period, 13 to six. 
Carson and Neal leading the way for the Foxes with four points apiece. Rhodes, Connor, and Grimes each have two. Raj? Uh, look at it. Uh, Edwards County, they go four of eight with five turnovers. Hamilton County, five of 11 with one turnover. So and there you are. Edwards County, 0 for 3 beyond the arc. Hamilton County, 1 of 4. Foxes will start the second quarter with the first, first crack. Hanson down the right side of the lane, puts it up off the nice glass and in. He is deceptively quick. Full court pressure now by the Foxes. Duncan gets it to Connor. Lands, break the press. Connor keeps going down the middle of the lane. Right-handed shot, missed it. Follows his own shot. We're going to have a jump ball, and that will be Edwards County's basketball. Connor will inbound. Edwards County goes to a stack in the middle of the lane. Gives it to Rhodes. Rhodes keeps it. Tried to go baseline. Cut off by Neal. Now he just goes in the lane. Missed his first shot. Gets his own rebound. And is fouled on the ground. Tell you what, Rhodes and Connor. <laughs> they got that never say die attitude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they'll try again inbounding along the baseline. Connor gets it into Rhodes. Now he gives it to Connor on the wing. Webb on him. And another foul on Hamilton okay. County. Ten. That's Webb. And for the third time in 15 seconds, we'll inbound on the baseline again. Connor slaps the ball, gets it into Rhodes. Quick three from the wing. Short and rebounded by Pike. Pike down the middle of the court. Snaps it right side to Leakey. Now knee, Neal. Well, I had the three and passed on it. He'll hand it to Leakey. Leakey lost the handle on it, and Rhodes comes away with the steal. Baseball pass down to Duncan. Duncan underneath the basket, thought about it, shoots left-handed, misses, rebounded by Hanson. Hanson up the left side. Hanson coast to coast, missed the layup, rebounded by Rhodes. Outlet, Connor. Connor zips it across the grinds, power dribble, puts it up and in. Little racehorse basketball here for a minute. <clears throat> and it's a 15-8 game. Foxes by seven, 6.35 to play in the first half. Webb on the left wing. Now up top to Neal. They'll swing it right side to Hanson. Now Leakey, top of the key, fires the three. Missed Air everything. Ball. Wow. Rebound Gerlach. He'll bring it up himself. Behind the back dribble down the right side. He's going to go coast to coast. And Doug Miller has seen enough. We'll take a break. We'll be back in 30 seconds. You don't live to bank, you bank to live. And that's why so many of our customers rely on First Mid for much more than banking alone. Beyond everyday financial services, we're a valued partner and advisor with the help and resources for the things you need and whatever you aspire to achieve. So whether you're buying groceries or budgeting your dream kitchen, protecting your life's work, or laying the foundation for life after work, we're your bank for everything in the middle of anything. We're First Mid. First Mid Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Equal housing lender. 15 to 10, Hamilton County leading Edwards County. Only six points scored so far in the second quarter, but this is a different Edwards County team from the first quarter. Yeah, no question about that. Uh, we're seeing a lot of, eh, not sloppy, but it's a lot of up and down, and sometimes shot selection leaves a little bit to be desired from both ball clubs. Fox is into the front court. Hanson swings it out to Pike. Pike feints the three, gives it up to Neal, around the horn to Hanson in the left corner. He'll go baseline, cut off over to Zellers, back out front to Neal. The Pike, Pike down the left side, left-handed layup short. comes up short. Grimes will clear the glass for the Lions. Outlet to Connor. Connor gets in the lane, kicks in the corner. Gerlach for three, short, rebounded by Neal. Foxes want to run. Neal down the middle of the court, swings it left side. Zellers for three, it's nope. short. Duncan with the rebound. 15-10 Foxes, five and a half to play here in the first half. Connor from the left wing puts up an errant shot. Partially blocked there by Zellers. Here comes Hanson the other way, finds Neal with a quick pass under the basket, has his hand stripped. Here comes Connor the other way, two on two. Connor doesn't stop, puts it up. They're gonna call the foul before the shot. Hanson tried to take the charge, got there a little bit late. 
And we'll inbound it again under the basket. Okay, no. Kelly Braxton Miller back in. And Hamilton County is going to play. Okay. Play with four. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Rhodes gets an easy layup. Kessler came out, <laughs> thought he was going to be re replaced. Quickly down court, shot is blocked. Rebound by Kelly up. And he's fouled. He is fouled. By Gerlach. Gerlach and Kelly have a little conversation with both smiles on their faces. So free throws by Kelly. 15 to 12. Shot it too flat, Caden. Put some arch on it. Looks like Nelson's going to return for the Lions. Connor's going to take a well deserved break. Hamilton County led after the first quarter 13 to 6. Now it's a 15 12 ball game. Kelly misses them both. Nelson gets the rebound. Tell you what, uh, 10 defensive rebounds for. Uh, Edwards County, and if, if uh, Hamilton County misses, they don't get a second effort. Rhodes out top, goes to his left, trial cut off, trying to go right, finds another seam down the right, goes to the rim, and missed it. Rebound. Had his rebound stripped away by Kelly. Outlet down to Neal, and it was too far. It'll go back to Edwards County. That's four turnovers for Hamilton County, three of them this quarter, averaging about one a minute. And the Foxes are going to go a little full court pressure. Yep. Put some put some quickness in there. Got four guards and Kelly. Gerlach bringing it up into the front court to Rhodes. Miller on R Rhodes. Rhodes goes left, kicks it to the corner. Gerlach faints the three, leans in, and misses the shot. Is it going to be a blocking foul? Yep. yep. On Kelly. Just look at <laughs> Hamilton County's put up six shots this quarter. Edwards County's put up three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two free throws. One's good. Edwards County kind of making a little comeback here. What is that? Seven, seven, eight, eight, eight two run. Yeah. This girl like hits them both. And it's a one point game, 15-14. Here is Miller, Hanson. Now Leakey <laughs> swings at the pike on the wing, up top to Miller. Miller goes left, swings it back right side to Hanson. Hanson to the elbow, back right corner to Miller. Miller kicks it out to Leakey. Leakey goes to the baseline, puts it up off the glass. Oh, and nice in. move. Poor Leakey gets in the scorebook. 17-14, lines don't wait for you. They come the other way. Here's Connor, hook pass inside to Grimes. One dribble off the glass, missed it. Rebound Leakey. And the Foxes will push it. Leakey trying to get in the lane and throws it right to Duncan. Duncan up the left side of the court. Waits for help, puts it on the floor instead. Four second quarter turnovers for the Foxes. Rhodes, Miller on him. Rhodes goes right, down the lane. Puts up the floating shot off the glass too hard. Kelly clears. Hanson down the left side. Leaves it for Leakey on the wing. Cross court pass to Pike on the right top. 17-14, Hamilton County on top. Coming on the three minute mark left in the first half. Pike drives from the left wing, goes up strong. Blocked on the board by Gerlach. And Edwards County is going to call the timeout. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back in 60 seconds. In 1925, when Farrell Hospital opened, they knew that families in El Dorado and the surrounding communities needed a hospital they could depend on, close to home. Over the years, Farrell grew to meet the needs of patients. Today, Farrell Hospital has grown to offer advanced emergency care, orthopedics, cancer, surgery, imaging, lab, and more, always keeping more care right here close to home. Farrell Hospital. You can depend on us. The countdown is on. Enjoy the Carmi Eclipse Festival featuring Eddie Montgomery. Oh, this is my time. The Frontman. Maybe I'm amazed by surprise. Drew Baldridge and Tailgate Revival. See somebody's dog. Now make you want to drive. Throw to my 
Saturday, April 6th at Burl's Woods Bicentennial Park. Visit CarMyFest.com for tickets and more information. Roger Hobbs, Jason Craig with the Duff Kingston Gymnasium. 17-14 Hamilton County leads Edwards County in the first consolation semifinal. Hamilton County came out like gangbusters in the first quarter, and Edwards County has found their legs here in the second quarter to make this a contest. Full court pressure by the Foxes. As the Lions cross the timeline, Duncan in the corner. Natural trap. Foxes don't do it. Now Rhodes on the right wing. Top the key, Grimes. Over to Connor. Back to Gerlach on the right side. Now Duncan on the wing, brings it back up top to Grimes. He gets left alone. He'll fire the three, in and out. Rebounded by Pike. Foxes are going to run. Pike is fouled. Otherwise, that would have been a free B2 on the other end. Only the second foul. What are your thoughts on the two shots and uh, four fouls per quarter? I haven't really seen. I kind of like it. If it ahead. also takes away from the strategy of the game, right. so to speak. If you're ahead late in the game, you like it. Screen and roll. Kelly gets fouled. Right. If you're ahead, you like it. If you're behind, you don't like it. And like we saw in that game prior to this, all of a sudden, I mean, it becomes a hack fest. <laughs> yeah. So you can get them to the five fouls. Kelly back at the line. He's looking for his first points of the contest, and he's still looking. He's missed three in a row from the foul line short. Usually we say, well, if it's short, a lot of times it's because your legs are gone, but he had a good night's sleep. Well, knowing him, he probably went up and shot 100 rounds this morning with his trap gun. <laughs> Kelly finally lands one in. And it's a four-point lead for Hamilton County, 18 to 14. 215 left here in the half. Rhodes thought about the three, leaves it for Gerlach. He'll give it back to Rhodes. He'll go to his right. And Euro stepped wow. through everybody and got the lay-in. That was a dick Lear. It didn't quite look right. But it counts, 18-16. Pike sets the offense. No goes left side to Miller. Miller finds Kelly under the basket. It goes up blocked, but into the hands of Pike for the easy two. Pike gets in the scorebook. Lines quickly the other way. Grimes on the wing, leaves it for Rhodes. Now Connor top the key, Leakey on him. Over to Duncan, Miller on him. Duncan dribble hand off to Grimes, over to Gerlach. Back to Rhodes. Excuse me, that's Connor. Connor trying to get in there and he draws the foul. Looked like a travel. I guess the reason he traveled is because he got, got fouled. All right, starting 5.2. Trying to keep fresh legs in there as much as he can. Abe Neal is the only starter in there right now. And that is the fifth team foul, so that will be your free throws. Now they've got to remember who's the shooter. Well, a coach might say, yeah, it's my, that kid right there, he's the, happened to be the best shooter too. I mean, <laughs> I'd probably take my chances with Connor. <laughs> yeah, you think? Uh, yeah, yeah, I would too. Just a sophomore. Knocks the first one down. They are five of five from the line. Gallatin County, three of six. Connor can make it a two-point contest with this one. One sixteen left. Got it. First half. 20 to 18. Hamilton County is led by as many as seven. Neal gets it to Webb. Kessler will try a three. Got it. Yep. His second triple of the game. And that gives the Foxes some breathing room, 23-18. Connor into the front court for the Lions, right side. Goes to his left, cut off by Webb. Now he'll swing it out to Rhodes, back to Connor. Connor drives left, throws it to Grimes. He has to run it down by the timeline. Zeller's right there in his gearbox. Hand off to Gerlach. Good switch there by the Foxes. Now Rhodes. Another Pick. good switch. Rhodes goes left, pull up jumper, will not fall, rebounded by Cross. 
And Zellers will be fouled 70 feet away from the basket. It's only what, the third team foul. 20 seconds. Neal walks across the timeline, swings it to Zellers on the left side. Don't hold on to it too long out there. Let's Back to Neal, seven seconds to go. Neal drifts left, finds Kessler. He'll drive baseline, puts up the floater, will not fall. Rebounded Rose, he'll let it go. Three-quarter court now be short. Halftime here in the consolation semifinal. Your score, Hamilton County 23, Edwards County 18. We'll be back with some unofficial stats for you in four minutes. 2023 is almost over. That means it's time for Expressway 4's year-end sales event. Like brand new 2023 F-150 starting at $36,990 plus 2.9% APR for 72 months with special year-end pricing on all new F-150 crew cabs. Prices so low, we are not allowed to say. Go to ExpressWayFordOnline.com to see them. Now is the time to get the best deal on a new Ford from Expressway Ford in Mount Vernon. Expressway Ford, more Fords for less. At Top Shelf Discounters, the business model is simple. High quality, brand new home furnishings at discounted prices. Top Shelf Discounters, 215 North Walnut in Carmine. Open Saturdays 10 to 2 and by appointment. Find Top Shelf Discounters on Facebook for promotions and giveaways. Conquer the cold this winter at your local Hux Market. Earn big rewards with the Hux Bucks loyalty program and save on fuel, in-store specials, and even catering. Download the free Hux Bucks app today and enjoy a large big swig or coffee for just 99 cents. When you think of home, you think of warmth, comfort, and peace of mind. And that's exactly what you get when you choose propane from FS. With propane from Wabash Valley Service Company, you get our well-trained professional staff along with an array of products and services designed to ensure that your propane system is functioning properly and efficiently. Add to this a variety of convenient terms and ways to save money, and you've got the right solution to all your home energy needs. Call Wabash Valley Service Company today or visit fspropane.com for more information. Sin Energy Partners provide fuels, lubricants, and propane across the tri-state, offering price risk management, hedging programs, remote tank monitoring, and more. Ask about propane budget program and scheduled deliveries. Call David South today, 812-774-6529. Evil Light Creative Studio in Carmine is a full-service communications and design consultancy. We are excited to make your design project a reality. Reach out to us to see how we can create something amazing together all within your budget. Evil Light Creative Studio, what can we create with you? Big City Services in a small town. That's Butch and Associates CPAs, providing superior client service to folks here at home and across the U.S. Taxes and bookkeeping, accounting and audit services, plus full service consulting. Butch and Associates CPAs, where expertise meets excellence. At Butch and Associates, it's your journey backed by our commitment. Visit butch.com to learn more and contact us today. Revolutionize your welding experience at Extreme Welding and Machine Services. Highway 45, El Dorado, the hub for all things welding. Front Retail Store is your one-stop shop featuring welding rods, wires, hydraulic hoses, fittings, welding gases, and abrasives. Illinois Certified Inspection Lane, hydraulic cylinder repair, and much more. Metal sold by the foot and industrial gases without leasing agreements. Own your tank, pay only for contents. Join Extreme Welding and Machine Services, a family-owned haven for all welding enthusiasts your partner in auto repair that's cherry street automotive in carmi you get service expertise and i promise you'll drive away satisfied complete engine and body repair 24 hour a day wrecker and towing service tires from sales and service and repair including muffler service brakes shocks suspension and more when quality counts Count on Cherry Street Automotive in Carmine, your partner in auto repair. Call 382-7165 today. Before you drive a nail, drive to Carmi Lumber. From cabinets and flooring, doors and paint, lumber and hardware, to shingles and siding. Knowledgeable and friendly staff that have your back on all those home projects and even deliver to your door. So before you drive a nail, drive to Carmi Lumber for the woods, the goods, and the know-how. Visit Carmi Lumber, North 3rd Street in Carmi and carmilumber.net. 
Halftime here at Dove Kingston Gymnasium where Hamilton County leads 23 to 18. Fox has had a 13-6 advantage after one quarter and Edwards County kind of put a run together to make it a five point difference here at the half. Individually looking at scoring for Hamilton County. They're led by Ethan Kessler off the bench with six points. Leakey threw in two, Pike with two, Carson with four, Neal with four, Hanson with four, and Kelly with one. For Edwards County, San Juan Rhodes leading the way with six points, and then Connor, Grimes, and Gerlach each with four points apiece. Roger? All right, well, uh, shooting exhibition uh, left a little bit to be desired on the two-point side. Hamilton County went 7 of 16 on the threes. They were 2 of 7, 9 of 23 at 39%. Edwards County, on the other hand, 5 of 17 on twos, 0 for 5 on threes, 5 of 22 at 23%. Free throws, Edwards County 6 of 6, Hamilton County uh, 2, 3 of 6. Rebounding, slight edge to Edwards County 14 to 12. Six turnovers for the Foxes and only five for Edwards County, and they had none there in that second quarter. So neither team shooting the eyes out of it. Who can sneak in and make one? And again, it seemed like Hamilton County, the more rested team, opened up well in the first quarter. Edwards County takes about a quarter to get their legs in, and this one's by no means over by, oh, no. by a long shot. It's going to be one of those who misses the fewest shots. Agreed. Again, both teams struggling. Uh, combined, put them together, they are nine of, let's see, five, six, seven, 14 of 55. Put them together. If De I figured defensive right. struggle. Yeah, 14, <laughs> 14 of 45. In the halftime score here, Hamilton County leading Edwards County 23 to 18. We'll be back for the second half in three minutes. Welcome to Pro Rehab Carmi, where our passion is getting you back to life faster. It is our privilege to walk with you every step of the way using evidence-based treatments specifically created just for you. Whether it's sports, general orthopedics, or pelvic floor rehab, you are in the right hands. Your results are worth fighting for, and our team fights for you. Call 384-7872 or visit Pro Rehab on Main in Carmi and get back to life faster. Need irrigation for your farm or logistics for your agriculture products? Only one name should come to mind, the Skates Group, serving tri-state farmers and agribusinesses for more than 40 years. And the only way you do that is by being the most trusted name, the Skates Group, a family-owned business treating customers like family. If you need irrigation for the farm, trucking to or from the farm, or river terminal needs, call the Skates Group, 618-968-2471. The most trusted name in agriculture. Holy pancake, Bat Dude. Our Bat Ride is a flat ride. No need to get your tights in a wad, my little robin egg. But I need that ride to impress the chicks. Hang on to that super cape of yours, bird boy. I've got this. No matter what mishap comes along, count on the dynamic duo of Doug Raber and James Cook at State Farm to protect your ride and your home, as well as life and health insurance and more. Doug and James and Albion and Carmi are your team to help ensure life goes right. But what about my date? Stick with me, bird boy. I'll look you my bike. Roark Trucking and Roark Transport in Carmi. Driving the distance, delivering the difference. Commercial or residential. Anhydrous propane and fuel. Rock, dirt, and lime. Parking lots, driveways, and washouts. Farmers depend on Roark Trucking and Roark Transport to deliver their lime when and where they need it. Remember Roark Trucking and Roark Transport for your next job or your next haul. Fast and dependable. Call Roark Transport and Roark Trucking. 618-265-3665. Welcome to Taylor Eye Care on Falcon Avenue in Carmi. Excellence in eye care. From thorough examinations utilizing advanced equipment and technology to premier optical products. Here at Taylor Eye Care, we treat every patient like family, going above and beyond the expected for a truly memorable eye care experience. Simply put, we are excellence in eye care. If you're looking to brighten and enhance your vision, don't hesitate to contact us today. 382-4683.
Show your Saluki pride. Get your Vantera Saluki Visa debit card today and your purchases will contribute to an SIU scholarship. Plus, use your card to get special offers at Vantera Center and other Saluki athletic events. Getting the card is easy. Just open a Saluki checking account or Saluki interest checking account at Vantera Bank. No ATM fees and more than 55,000 ATMs plus other great benefits. Stop by Vantera to learn more. Vantera, proud supporter of SIU. Member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. See branch for details. Defense. Yeah. I thought uh, I went with I went with uh, Vianna because they could put points on the board. And Massac rose the occasion. Both teams have come back, gained some last minute shooting in. Again, this is the last game of the afternoon session. Tonight's slate should be entertaining as well. They'll kick it off at seven with Fairfield taking on Heron. That'll be followed by Anna Jonesboro taking on Carmi. And that'll lead us to the other consolation semifinal with Gallatin County, who had an impressive win today over West Frankfurt, mm -hmm. taking on El Dorado, who took care of NCOE. So again, some pretty good basketball all day long. <laughs> yeah, we talked about that NCOE game uh, this morning. They ended up, they got beat 18. And uh, El Dorado jumped on 18 to nothing yeah. Uh, lead and, uh, you know, fighting Cardinals hung tough, got down 25, 27, but come back and, you know, played them even and uh, talked with Coach Johnson. He was in pretty good spirits considering. He said, you know, we just had that rough start and said, played them even. And he basically is playing five and six kids and El Dorado was running 10, 10 or 12 at a time. So, yeah. And not to take anything away from El Dorado, but, uh, you know, they hung tough. They could have give up, but they kept hanging in there. Foxes start the half with the possession, and Hanson tries to hit a baseline floater, comes up short. Gerlach will clear and bring it into the front court to Rhodes. Rhodes goes to his left, kicks it to Grimes. Mid-range jumper in and out, rebounded by Neal. Neal up the right side, finds Kelly. Back out front it comes to Neal. Back to Kelly. They're looking inside for Carson. Can't find him. He'll try the left side, this time with Pike. Swings it right side, right corner to Kelly. Hanson flashes at the elbow, fires and hits. We're just kind of running a high-low with uh, Carson, and then uh, Hanson came through on the, high po on the high post, got it to free throw line, made him pay. Biggest, ties the biggest lead of the night for the Foxes. Seven, 25 to 18. Rhodes will direct traffic on the right top. Now Nelson, between the circles, goes left side to Connor. Connor wants to play pick and roll with Grimes, passes on the pick, gets caught in the air, throws it back out top to Gerlach, oh, and he'll travel. Walk. That's why that move was so quick. <laughs> but you know, a lot of times that situation, a lot of referees will miss that. You just, it's so quick and it's kind of like it happens and you're kind of like, that didn't look right. What was, <laughs> and it's too late to come back and make a call. The Fox is back in the front court. Carson in the left corner. Swings it up top to Kelly. Around the horn it goes to Pike in the right corner. Kelly rolling down the lane. Oh, nice move. Tried to double dip. Came up short. Gerlach will clear for the Lions. Gerlach gives it up to Connor. He'll fire the three. Both. Got it. That is their first three in five. And that's their sixth attempt. And it's back to a four-point lead for the Foxes, 25-21. Six minutes to play here in the third. Pike drives in the lane left, left-handed oh, scoop shot, missed no. it. Rebound Kelly, Kelly. he go goes up. up. And he will be fouled by Gerlach. Caden Kelly been to the line, what, four times? He is one for four. His problem is a lot of times he shoots it too flat. That one that was too short. short. Twenty-five, twenty-one. Hamilton County opens up a little lead, and uh, Edwards County comes right back. Second one's good. Full court press by the Foxes. Nelson and Gerlach playing pitch and catch in the back. Gerlach into the front court to Nelson. Whoa. Now down it goes to Rhodes. He'll fire a deep three from the wing. It's short. Rebound Carson. Outlet Hanson. 
Fox is up the right side. Hanson finds Neal cutting the lane and lays it in. Good heads, good heads up by Hanson looking down the floor. Back to seven. 28-21, 5.25 to go. And loose ball. And the Lions recover and they get an easy two for Grimes. That's what it always mm -hmm. is. You make bust your butt and finally it's tapped and there's somebody wide open under the goal. Neal in the right corner. They swing it around the perimeter to Pike on the left side. Now Neal, top of the key, swings it right side to Kelly. Carson, top of the key, swings it right side to Hanson. Oh, back, back door. door by cut by Pike and, Pike and couldn't missed get it. it. Here comes Connor the other way. Connor hooked past the Rhodes. Rhodes fights into the lane, puts up the baby hook, missed it. Carson clears, outlet Hanson. Up the court they come to Pike. Pike in the lane, kicks it back to Hanson. Hanson goes left, pull up jumper in the lane, short. Rebounded by Rhodes. Four and a half to go in this one, 20, or third quarter rather, 28-23 Foxes. Connor forces up a oh. shot, in and out, no good. Hanson rebounds, quick outlet to Pike, left side. Pike finds left baseline, under the basket, out to Neal. That was interesting, that shot everybody thought it was in and nobody <laughs> rebounded as it danced on the rim and then fell askew. Now Kelly, top of the key, swings it back right side to Neal. And now Pike in the right corner, he'll dribble it out, hands it to Hanson between the circles. 28-23 Foxes. And Hanson got a little fancy with the dribble, lost the handle, and they're going to call it travel. First turnover this half for the uh, Foxes. And the Foxes go with the line change. Miller, Webb, Leakey, Kessler, and Zellers. And while the Lions will inbound to Connor across the timeline, up the left side. Got away with a little bump there, didn't he? Connor spins his way into the lane, gets to the rack, and lays it in. Was, was not going to be denied. Connor leads all scores with nine, and it's a three-point game, 28-25. Leakey, Leakey in the lane, puts up the floater. It bounces around, in and he out, bounces. no good. Connor with the rebound, dribbled it off his foot. And... One ref's pointing one way, and yeah, they're going to give it back to Edwards County. I, I, well, I was looking down, and I disagree with that. You dribble it off your own foot. That's just <laughs> life. Well, he didn't mean to. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. I didn't see it. I had my head down on that, trying to write something down. Duncan quickly into the front court, dumps it down to Grimes. He puts it up and in. And just like that, it's a one-point game, 28-27. Zellers drives baseline, shot Good fake, fake. goes up, up draws the foul. Give that one to Grimes. That'll be his first. First attempt for Zellers is good. He's in the scorebook. Caleb Carson back in for the Foxes. Cord Leakey gets a breather. Twenty-nine, twenty-seven. Edwards County hanging around, hanging around. Zeller sits them both. Full court pressure by the Foxes. Gerlach trying to find somebody to get it in. Does so to Duncan. He'll bring it up the left side. Dumps it down to Grimes in the post. Grimes looks opposite to Nelson. Deep three, right wing, short, long rebound. Kessler with a quick baseball outlet to Miller. Miller leaves it for Kessler. He swings it to Webb. Webb for three. Got Boom. it. Wow. That was a big bucket right there. And Webb is in the scorebook. And the league's back up to six, 33-27. Two and a half to play in the third. Gerlach goes down the middle of the lane, puts it up too hard. Rebounded by the Foxes. Miller, quick outlet to Kessler down at the other end. Kessler goes up, comes up short. Rebound Zellers. He goes up, and he Got puts it, it in. Wow. Good second effort by Jack Zellers. And it's an eight-point game. And the Lions feeling the pressure in the backcourt. Duncan will get it across the timeline. Dribbles out of pressure. 
Swings it to Gerlach. Now Nelson on the left wing. Under two to play in the third. Deep three from Rhodes. Off the back iron. Rebounded by Zeller. Zeller's looking down the court. Nobody's going to guard him. He's just going to go coast to coast and does. Take it all the way. And Edwards County wants the timeout. We'll take one as well. We'll be back in 60 seconds. I'm Jordan Hammersley, instructor for the Outfitter Wildlife Management Program here at Southeastern Illinois College. We focus on a three-prong approach to wildlife science. First, we cover all the legal aspects because a lot of my students would like to be a game warden. Second, we focus on the guiding sections. And third, we focus on a wildlife biology approach that is usually reserved for university level courses. Southeastern is becoming known as the Outdoor Recreation College. Visit sic.edu. In 1925, when Farrell Hospital opened, they knew that families in El Dorado and the surrounding communities needed a hospital they could depend on, close to home. Over the years, Farrell grew to meet the needs of patients. Today, Farrell Hospital has grown to offer advanced emergency care, orthopedics, cancer, surgery, imaging, lab, and more, always keeping more care right here close to home. Farrell Hospital. You can depend on us. 37-27, Hamilton County leading Edwards County. We have about 145 left here in the third quarter. Edwards County climbed back within one and then add water to Mr. Zellers for Hamilton County. Yes. He's added a little spark plug here. Gave him a little breathing room. And Hamilton County staying in full pressure. Here's the run and jump. Duncan picked up by Neal into the front court to Nelson. Nelson cross court to Connor for three. It's short. Rebound Rhodes. Good big rebound. Wow. And then Miller comes in to strip it away. And that ball is thrown out of bounds. And they're going to say it was last touched by the Foxes. A little slow getting up. Diving for loose balls. So the Lions will return. Tame possession and inbound. Maybe. Maybe. I'll get it into Grimes, who gets it back to Connor. Now Grimes between the circles over left side to Nelson. Now's Rhodes. Rhodes dribble hand off to Duncan. Dribble hand off to Grimes. Just a little weave out front trying to catch somebody asleep and then fool around the back door. Now Connor drives from the left wing under the basket and he'll draw a foul. One minute to go, Abe Neal, or Abe Neal, Trenton Pike and uh, Eli Hansen check in, Carter, Carson and Pike. Here comes Caden Kelly in for Braxton Miller. Well, when you got when you got some depth, it just. Makes life a little a bit easier. Rhodes takes the inbound, works his way in the lane, goes up strong, it's short, ball hits the floor, nobody wants it, now Hansen ends up with it. Hansen getting through traffic, somehow kept the handle on it. And Doug Miller wants a timeout before the turnover occurs. We'll take one as well. We'll be back in 30 seconds. 2023 is almost over. That means it's time for Expressway Ford's year-end sales event. Like brand new 2023 F-150 starting at $36,990 plus 2.9% APR for 72 months. With special year-end pricing on all new F-150 crew cabs. Prices so low, we are not allowed to say. Go to ExpresswayFordOnline.com to see them. Now is the time to get the best deal on a new Ford from Expressway Ford in Mount Vernon. Expressway Ford, more Fords for less. Uh. 37-27, Hamilton County leading Edwards County. 51 seconds left here in the third. Foxes have the ball inbound along the sideline. Ooh, almost had that alley-oop off a back screen, but didn't quite materialize like they'd hoped. Kessler swings it right side to Neal. Now on the wing is Hanson. Top of the key, Pike. They'll try the left side with Neal. Up top of the key is Kessler. He'll come to his right and he'll draw a foul. 30 seconds left. Only the second foul. Third foul. I still can't adjust to this fifth foul and you're shooting yeah. two shots. <laughs> Neil inbounds it into the backcourt to Hampson. They'll play for one shot I would imagine. 
Now Pike on the wing. Neal on the left top. He'll bring it to the right. And now Hanson has it. 15 seconds to go in the quarter. Kessler between the circles. He'll dribble right, gives it up to Hanson. Now Kelly over to Neal. Six seconds left. Kessler left open for three. Got, Got it. it again. Wow. It's a third triple, and that's how the quarter will end. Hamilton County with their largest lead of the contest, 40 to 27. We'll be back for the final stanza in 60 seconds. At Top Shelf Discounters, the business model is simple. High quality, brand new home furnishings at discounted prices. Top Shelf Discounters, 215 North Walnut in Carmine. Open Saturdays 10 to 2 and by appointment. Find Top Shelf Discounters on Facebook for promotions and giveaways. Conquer the cold this winter at your local Hux Market. Earn big rewards with the Hux Bucks loyalty program and save on fuel, in-store specials, and even catering. Download the free Hux Bucks app today and enjoy a large big swig or coffee for just 99 cents. Why are more people heating their homes with FS Propane? Because it's better to work with the company that lives and works in the same community that you do. When it comes to the comfort and safety of your family, you can trust Wabash Valley FS. We have highly trained service professionals who regularly monitor your system for proper operation, safety, and maximum efficiency. So you can be sure that FS Propane will leave your family with the good, warm feelings all season long. Call your Wabash Valley FS today or visit fspropane.com for more information. Remind you, you are listening to the 59th Annual EHT on 97.3 WRUL Carmi, Illinois. Start of the fourth quarter. Edwards County with the ball. They trail Hamilton County 40 to 27. Winner of this one has a place in the Constellation Championship game slated for 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Rhodes trying to create something, and he creates a foul. Well, they had a, a good defensive switch there that time as uh, Caden Kelly, the big man inside, got stuck on the guard and just wasn't quick enough to, uh, to stay with him. Connor, poor, go ahead. I started to say poor shooting continues to follow Edwards County. They went uh, 4 of 13 that quarter. Connor hits Grimes, cutting down the lane for the easy two. That's the way to start the fourth quarter. Grimes has 10. 40-29 Foxes, opening minute here in the fourth. Neal on the left top. This one he's at the Kessler. Over to Hanson on the right wing. Back door lob to Kelly. He puts it up. He draws the foul. He'll shoot two. Caden okay, Kelly's been to the line about, what, six or eight times. And he will get there two more times. Kelly with two points. Huh. Braxton Miller comes in, gives Ethan Kessler a break. Kelly has one more. And it's short. Short too. Missed them both. Connor tried to drill behind his back, dribbled it off Miller into the hands of Neil. Neil left-handed layup. He, he misses. Fouled. And he'll shoot too. You know, we talked about uh, Hamilton County's poor exhibition yesterday, shooting three of 21. Uh, tonight, they're four of nine. And uh, thank you, Mr. Kessler, for that one. <laughs> yeah. He has been on fire tonight. Here is Abe Neal. His first appearance at the free throw line. That'll give Neal seven. Carson comes in as Caden Kelly gets a break. The lead is back to 13. Full court pressure by the Foxes. And a turnover and stolen by Eli Hansen. Miller, nice. Miller out front. Swings it left side to Pike. Now Neal swings it right side to Miller. Miller looking inside. He'll try to go baseline. Cut off. Lost the handle on it. And Edwards County comes away with the ball. Baseball pass picked off by Hansen. Hands into Miller, pocket pass into Carson. He goes up and oh, in and out, no. but gets his own rebound and scores. Carson with six. 
And we're going to have a timeout on the floor. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Sin Energy Partners provide fuels, lubricants, and propane across the tri-state, offering price risk management, hedging programs, remote tank monitoring, and more. Ask about propane budget program and scheduled deliveries. Call David South today, 812-774-6529. Evil Light Creative Studio in Carmine is a full-service communications and design consultancy. We are excited to make your design project a reality. Reach out to us to see how we can create something amazing together all within your budget. Evil Light Creative Studio, what can we create with you? Extreme Welding and Machine Services is hiring full-time heavy equipment mechanics and welders and a part-time crane operator. Complete benefits package including health insurance, competitive pay, paid time off, retirement, and safety incentive bonus. Apply at Extreme Welding and Machine Services, Highway 45, El Dorado, or visit their Facebook page, Extreme Welding and Machine Services. In business for 18 years and an equal opportunity employer. 44-29, Hamilton County leads Edwards County. 6.42 left in this one. Biggest lead of the night. Full court press by Hamilton County. And Duncan will bring it up for the Lions. Now to Connor, over to Nelson. Passes on the three, Rhodes in the corner. Back out front to Nelson, over to Connor. Wanted to go right. Crossover, comes back right, kicks it in the corner. Nelson left alone for three. Got Good. it. Wow. Nelson, Nelson with his first points of the night. Only the second three in the ball game for uh, Edwards County. Hanson, nice pass inside, punched away by Rhodes. Nelson quickly the other way to Grimes. Grimes spins in the lane, puts it up. Will not fall, but he'll shoot two. 44-32, Foxes by 12 with 6.05 remaining. You know, we've talked about the amount of free throws. It's some of these games, almost none. Some games, a whole bunch. This will be seven and eight for uh, Edwards County. Makes that one. And uh, Hamilton County has shot 14 and hit eight of 14. And Edwards County Six, seven for seven. Eight for eight. Keeping it close. Grimes with 12. Lead is down to 10, 44-34. Six minutes to play. Miller over to Hanson across the timeline. Now Neal on the wing. Back out front to Hanson. At the elbow, Webb connects the dots. Neal for three. Nope. Missed it. Rebound Nelson. Lions trying to get a deficit down to single digits. Connor will try a three, and, and in and nope. out. Rebound Miller, he'll go into second gear and draw the foul. Forty-four, thirty-four. Five and a half left. I'm starting to get the feel Edwards County's making Custard's last stand right here. Well, they've got three personal, they can only give two more, and they're down 10. Of course, it's way too early to start fouling, but it's got to be in uh, the back of the coach's mind. Carson at the elbow. Lost the handle on it. Ends up in the hands of Webb. Webb trying to drive, and he draws a foul. Grimes a little bit slow getting off the, the floor, and that kind of gave him an uh, alleyway to go. But uh, the foul change that situation. Hanson lobs it in to Carson. He goes up, blocked, Lock. but Hanson picks up the loose ball and the Foxes will reset. Four fouls committed by Edwards County, so it's two free throws from here on out for Hamilton County. Neal back to Hanson between the circles. They'll go left side to Webb. Under five to play, Foxes by 10. Hanson looking left, and we're gonna have a foul away from the basketball. That's on Connor. And the Foxes will go into the free throw, free throw session for the next four minutes and 54 seconds. And Abe Neal will be at the, the shooter. And that's, if you're a Foxes fan, that's who you want at the line. Neal with eight points. Make it nine.
Kelly and Pike will return for the Foxes. Hanson and Carson will have a seat. Neil Knoxville. Neil out, Kessler in. 12-point lead for the Foxes, 46-34. Full core pressure remains. Lob into Grimes. Grimes looks, wow. finds Connor cutting down the lane. He goes up, left-handed layup, good. Yes. If all press breakers were that simple. Yes, <laughs> yes. Get the ball in the middle, everybody get out of his way. Pike and Miller in the backcourt having a little trouble. And Doug Miller wants the timeout. And we'll take another timeout. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Your partner in auto repair. That's Cherry Street Automotive in Carmi. You get service, expertise, and I promise you'll drive away satisfied. Complete engine and body repair, 24-hour-a-day wrecker and towing service, tires from sales and service, and repair including muffler service, brakes, shocks, suspension, and more. When quality counts, count on Cherry Street Automotive in Carmi. Your partner in auto repair. Call 382-7165 today. Before you drive a nail, drive to Carmi Lumber. From cabinets and flooring, doors and paint, lumber and hardware, to shingles and siding. Knowledgeable and friendly staff that have your back on all those home projects and even deliver to your door. So before you drive a nail, drive to Carmi Lumber for the woods, the goods, and the know-how. Visit Carmi Lumber, North 3rd Street in Carmi and CarmiLumber.net. 46-36, Hamilton County clinging to a 10-point advantage over Edwards County. They led by as many as 13. That was the start of this quarter. And the winner slated to come play for some hardware tomorrow afternoon, 3 o'clock, consolation championship. Loser gets to start winter break. Pike between the circles decides to go to the left side. Nelson on him. Now Hanson on the wing, into the corner to Kel or Neal. Neal swings it out to Kelly, back Almost to Webb. Steal. He'll swing it over to Hanson on the right wing. Now Neal on the right top. Pike left top, left wing, it goes to Webb. Nothing but a layup, it looks like. Kelly gets it out to Hanson. Now right side Pike. A little motion offense. Two cutters through, and they'll swing it back out front, and around the horn it goes to Webb on the left wing. Under four to play. Now Neal. Swings it to Hanson on the wing, right side. Now Pike, and hey, Pike has it stripped away by Nelson. And he missed the layup. Wow. Rebounded by Webb. Hanson into the front court. Hanson draws two lines. Somebody's got to be open. He finds Webb. Thought about a three, but you know, you're up 10, and three minutes to go. Pike went right back to Webb, and he wasn't looking for it, and that'll be a turnover on the Foxes. Fourth turnover this quarter, five and a half, 10 in the game. 46 36, Hamilton County leading with 3.23 remaining. Duncan will bring it up for the Lions. Duncan, dribble handoff to Nelson. Gives it to Grimes. Grimes goes to his left. Here's the Spins weave. back right into the corner. Nelson for three. Got wow. it again. And Coach Snicker wants the timeout. We'll take another one. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Welcome to Pro Rehab Carmi, where our passion is getting you back to life faster. It is our privilege to walk with you every step of the way using evidence-based treatments specifically created just for you. Whether it's sports, general orthopedics, or pelvic floor rehab, you are in the right hands. Your results are worth fighting for, and our team fights for you. Call 384-7872 or visit Pro Rehab on Main in Carmi and get back to life faster. Roger Hobbs, Jason Craig with you here at Duff Kingston Gymnasium. 46-39 is the score. Hamilton County leading Edwards County. Edwards County sticking around. They trailed by as many as 13 in the quarter and with 306. Plenty of time. Starting to find the range coming into this quarter. They were one of 10 on threes. Here they're back to back. And they're two for four on two pointers. So 
you know, they're making an effort, four of six. Whereas the Foxes, one of three. But they got a couple of free throws. Full court pressure by the Lions. The Foxes break it. Three on two the other way. Pike goes for the layup and gets it. Gets it. Makes it look easy. Hamilton County returns a favor. They'll go full court press. Lions inbound to Duncan. They'll bring it across the timeline. Crossover dribble. Kicks oh, it out to Grimes. Faints to three. Gets in the lane. Puts up the hook. Missed it. Rebound Miller. Into the hands of Hanson. Over to Pike, and Pike will draw a foul, and Pike will go to the charity strike. Yep. And Edwards County may put an asterisk by that what if on that layup. Uh, golden opportunity right. there. Could have made it interesting. <laughs> Pike misses the first one. He just struggled like Kelly, and if he misses, usually he shoots it too flat, and it'll hit the back of the rim, as was that one there. Little arch, that one hit Missed the them flange. Both. Duncan quickly in the front court. Duncan's going to try to go all the way, and he is fouled from behind. By Miller? By Miller. You know, that wasn't a bad foul, really. Mm -hmm. Had a wide open layup. Two to burn. It's coming over to the scorekeeper. Trying to figure out what happened. I think they gave it to Pike. They gave it to Pike, but it was on. Uh, he held up one, two, I thought. Oh, they ended up giving it to Carson. That's his fourth foul. Oh, wow. I thought they said one, two, which was Miller. Rhodes gets it to Grimes in the post. Spin. Fade away off the glass, it's short. Rebound Rhodes, or yeah, Rhodes, and he puts it in. Rhodes with eight, and the lead's down to seven, 48-41. Hanson into the front court. He'll circle the wagons. Looking for help, finds Miller across court. Now Miller gets trapped. Out the corner, two minutes. Neal gets it back to Miller. It's time to play keep away. Neal looks down baseline to Hanson, cross court to Pike, back out front to Miller. Now Neal out to the wing, four corner look here for the Foxes with the seven point lead. Carson. Neal on a high post, now they flash Hanson. Miller dribbles around and now Miller gets two hands on the back and he'll go to the line to shoot a pair with 134 left. Okay. A lot of free throws here with the Foxes. They've shot 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. This is 19 and 20. First one from Miller, in and out. 134. Three possession game. Missed them both. Wow, they missed their last four. Nelson with the rebound. He'll go the other way. Lost the handle, and Carson comes away with the steal. Now Hanson into the front court, over to Pike. Back to Hanson. Now Pike. Pike draws two, gets it to Hanson in the jump circle. 70 seconds left. Foxes by seven. Got now Carson. down low to Carson. He goes up strong and he's, he's fouled. fouled. He'll shoot two. Carson struggled yesterday at the free throw line. He went one for seven. And Hamilton County's missed their last four. So we'll see if Caleb can break the string or what happens. In and out. Andrew Webb checks in for Miller. 65 seconds. Three possession. Carson missed them Short. both. Rebound Webb. Webb comes down with it. Wow. Big rebound there. And now into the hands of Hanson with under a minute to play. 48-41 Foxes. Hanson gets double teamed. Trying to dribble out of it. Now in the hands of Pike. Neal finds Hanson back out front. Now Pike into Neal. Neal down low to Carson for the easy two. 
It was just a matter of time as uh, Doug Miller wants a timeout back in one minute. Need irrigation for your farm or logistics for your agriculture products? Only one name should come to mind, the Skates Group, serving tri-state farmers and agribusinesses for more than 40 years. And the only way you do that is by being the most trusted name, the Skates Group, a family-owned business treating customers like family. If you need irrigation for the farm, trucking to or from the farm, or river terminal needs, call the Skates Group, 618-968-2471. The most trusted name in agriculture. Holy pancake, Bat Dude. Our Bat Ride is a flat ride. No need to get your tights in a wad, my little robin egg. But I need that ride to impress the chicks. Hang on to that super cape of yours, bird boy. I've got this. No matter what mishap comes along, count on the dynamic duo of Doug Raber and James Cook at State Farm to protect your ride and your home, as well as life and health insurance and more. Doug and James and Albion and Carmi are your team to help ensure life goes right. But what about my date? Stick with me, bird boy. I'll loan you my bike. 50 to 41, Hamilton County leading Edwards County. 40.8 seconds remaining. Edwards County is going to need some help. Nelson into the front court to Grimes. Finds Connor going down the lane. They're going to call the foul. It will only be the fourth team foul on Hamco. So that's one of those situations. A foul, but no harm. Because he had, he had a pretty good drive to the goal. Had an open route. <clears throat> Connor with a quick inbound. That was not a good foul. To Rhodes, and he will shoot two with the clock stopped at 33 seconds left. Eli Hansen was a culprit. Rhodes with eight points. Make it nine. Webb and Carson leave. Miller and Kessler come in. I would you assume for ball handling, ball handling responsibilities. Yep. Got five guards. Rhodes hits them both. And timeout charge to Edwards County. 30 seconds. We'll be right back. Show your Saluki pride. Get your Vantara Saluki Visa debit card today and your purchases will contribute to an SIU scholarship. Plus, use your card to get special offers at Vantara Center and other Saluki athletic events. Getting the card is easy. Just open a Saluki checking account or Saluki interest checking account at Vantara Bank. No ATM fees and more than 55,000 ATMs plus other great benefits. Stop by Vantara to learn more. Vantara, proud supporter of SIU. Member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. See branch for details. Apparently, I'm the only 50 to 43, Hamilton County leading Edwards County. Hamilton County will pretty much face full court pressure. I'd be willing to bet Thank the you. house on. And probably they'll do a lot of reaching and grabbing. Everybody goes deep. Hanson comes back to get the inbound. Now in the hands of Pike. Pike's going to get it into the front court. Now he's fouled. That took about seven seconds. Yeah. One of the things, you, you know, kids want to hold on to it so they can go to the line, but in actuality, you want to get rid of it because once you, uh, once you make that foul, that stops the clock. If you're ahead, you don't want to see that happen. And that foul will put Connor out. He'll end his night with 11 points. So Pike to shoot two, and uh, Hamilton County has missed their last six in a row. I uh, broke the string. I'll give Pike five points. Eight-point lead. Missed the nope. second. Quick outlet to Duncan. And Duncan has to throw it to save it. It ends up in the hands of the Foxes. Hanson into the wing. And they're going to try to trap Hanson. He'll dribble out of it. Goes cross court to Webb. And that is going to do it right there as everybody's kind of backed off. So your final score, Hamilton County 51, Edwards County 43. Hamilton County will play for the Consolation Championship tomorrow afternoon.
at three o'clock. Edwards County gets to start their winter vacation. We'll take a break. We come back, we'll have some unofficial stats for you in three minutes. In 1925, when Farrell Hospital opened, they knew that families in El Dorado and the surrounding communities needed a hospital they could depend on, close to home. Over the years, Farrell grew to meet the needs of patients. Today, Farrell Hospital has grown to offer advanced emergency care, orthopedics, cancer, surgery, imaging, lab, and more, always keeping more care right here close to home. Farrell Hospital. You can depend on us. When you think of home, you think of warmth, comfort, and peace of mind. And that's exactly what you get when you choose propane from FS. With propane from Wabash Valley Service Company, you get our well-trained professional staff along with an array of products and services designed to ensure that your propane system is functioning properly and efficiently. Add to this a variety of convenient terms and ways to save money, and you've got the right solution to all your home energy needs. Call Wabash Valley Service Company today or visit fspropane.com for more information. Revolutionize your welding experience at Extreme Welding and Machine Services. Highway 45, El Dorado, the hub for all things welding. Front Retail Store is your one-stop shop featuring welding rods, wires, hydraulic hoses, fittings, welding gases, and abrasives. Illinois certified inspection lane, hydraulic cylinder repair, and much more. Metal sold by the foot and industrial gases without leasing agreements. Own your tank, pay only for contents. Join Extreme Welding and Machine Services, a family-owned haven for all welding enthusiasts. Need irrigation for your farm or logistics for your agriculture products? Only one name should come to mind. The Skates Group, serving tri-state farmers and agribusinesses for more than 40 years. And the only way you do that is by being the most trusted name. The Skates Group, a family-owned business treating customers like family. If you need irrigation for the farm, trucking to or from the farm, or river terminal needs, call the Skates Group, 618-968-2471. The most trusted name in agriculture. Holy pancake, bat dude. Our bat ride is a flat ride. No need to get your tights in a wad, my little robin egg. But I need that ride to impress the chicks. Hang on to that super cape of yours, bird boy. I've got this. No matter what mishap comes along, count on the dynamic duo of Doug Raber and James Cook at State Farm to protect your ride and your home, as well as life and health insurance and more. Doug and James and Albion and Carmi are your team to help ensure life goes right. But what about my date? Stick with me, bird boy. I'll look you my bike. Show your Saluki pride. Get your Vantara Saluki Visa debit card today and your purchases will contribute to an SIU scholarship. Plus, use your card to get special offers at Vantara Center and other Saluki athletic events. Getting the card is easy. Just open a Saluki checking account or Saluki interest checking account at Vantara Bank. No ATM fees and more than 55,000 ATMs plus other great benefits. Stop by Vantara to learn more. Vantara, proud supporter of SIU. Member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. See branch for details. Wednesday, sorry. Welcome back to Duff Kingston Gymnasium. Roger Hobbs, Jason Craig with you. Hamilton County has punched their ticket to the Consolation Championship game with a 51-43 victory over Edwards County. Looking at some individual scoring stats, first for Hamilton County. They were led by Abe Neal with 10 points. Leakey threw in two, Pike with five, Webb with three, Carson with eight, Zellers with six, Kessler with nine. Hanson with six and Kelly with two. For Edwards County, they were led by Grimes with 12 Good. points. Good. Thank you. Nelson with six, Rhodes with 10, Connor with mm. 11, and Gerlach ended his day with four. Roger? Look at the uh, scoring. You, you look at everything, it's pretty well equal in terms of shooting. The total field goals, Hamilton County, 14 of 31 on twos, four of 10 on threes. So they go 14 of 41 for 34%. Edwards County 11 of 32 on twos, three of 12 on three. So they're 14 of 44 for 31%. And uh, like I said, same number of field goals. Trouble of it is Hamilton County had a couple more threes. Uh, Foxes go 14 of 24 from the line. Edwards County goes 10 of 10 from the line. And Hamilton County won a battle of the boards, 26-23. They also led in turnovers, 10-9. But, you know, forget the stats, what the final score says. And Fox has come up a winner by a score of 51-43. to 
So again, Hamilton County will wait for the second consolation semifinal to take place. That'll be tonight. That's the Red Eye Special slated to start at 10 o'clock. They are either going to get Gallatin County or they're going to get El Dorado, which they've played both of them before, so it yep. won't be anybody brand new. But uh, we are going to take a break. It'll be about 20 minutes or so. We will start the nightcap and stick around, folks. We've got some good games lined up. Fairfield against Heron. Fairfield the seven seed. Heron the two seed. That's going to start around 7 o'clock. That'll be followed up with the six-seeded Anna Jonesboro squad taking on the three-seeded Bulldogs of Carmi. And that's start slated to begin around 8.30. So we'll be back in about 20 minutes. We'll talk to you then. In 1925, when Farrell Hospital opened, they knew that families in El Dorado and the surrounding communities needed a hospital they could depend on, close to home. Over the years, Farrell grew to meet the needs of patients. Today, Farrell Hospital has grown to offer advanced emergency care, orthopedics, cancer, surgery, imaging, lab, and more, always keeping more care right here close to home. Farrell Hospital. You can depend on us. Why are more people heating their homes with FS Propane? Because it's better to work with the company that lives and works in the same community that you do. When it comes to the comfort and safety of your family, you can trust Wabash Valley FS. We have highly trained service professionals who regularly monitor your system for proper operation, safety, and maximum efficiency. So you can be sure that FS Propane will leave your family with the good, warm feelings all season long. Call your Wabash Valley FS today or visit fspropane.com for more information. Extreme Welding and Machine Services is hiring full-time heavy equipment mechanics and welders and a part-time crane operator. Complete benefits package including health insurance, competitive pay, paid time off, retirement, and safety incentive bonus. Apply at Extreme Welding and Machine Services, Highway 45, El Dorado, or visit their Facebook page, Extreme Welding and Machine Services. In business for 18 years and an equal opportunity employer. Need irrigation for your farm or logistics for your agriculture products? Only one name should come to mind, the Skates Group. Serving tri-state farmers and agribusinesses for more than 40 years. And the only way you do that is by being the most trusted name. The Skates Group, a family-owned business treating customers like family. If you need irrigation for the farm, trucking to or from the farm, or river terminal needs, call the Skates Group. 618-968-2471. The most trusted name in agriculture. Holy pancake bat dude, our bat ride is a flat ride. No need to get your tights in a wad, my little robin egg. But I need that ride to impress the chicks. Hang on to that super cape of yours, bird boy. I've got this. No matter what mishap comes along, count on the dynamic duo of Doug Raber and James Cook at State Farm to protect your ride and your home, as well as life and health insurance and more. Doug and James and Albion and Carmi are your team to help ensure life goes right. But what about my date? Stick with me, bird boy. I'll loan you my bike. 